nhà trồng trái trồng nè chỉ có tiếng nước trà thì ấy cho phong nhiều từ nọ cũng như bò lì ba nhà họ mong thuyền xe đi nuốt số sử nó nọ cũng cho phép một số nhà trồng lúa trồng lên đồ lúa thì chua xong ở phần nông nghiệp bê ta là nọ lúa còn trồng xí sầu là giờ bê cho tu chân trái thấu u là cái tàu ở đây ở nụ ba đồ chế khó mò nhà trồng thì thay tê xử thì bê cho sụn nó bao nhiêu sụn ban viên này sụn năm nhau sụn chiêng cam thì sụn nồng khay là một nhà trồng lử lử lúa sụn nó mua bê mông nhau cho họ เดี๋ยวน้อยจะพัฒนาเลยพัฒนาเนาะอยากจะด็อกเตอร์ฝึกเดาอย่างนี้ตอนเดี๋ยวรู้ได้เชื่อเมลกาเนาะเที่ยงยอมมาดูหรือรู้ได้เชื่อหรือกูตัวตัวหายรู้เที่ยงจอเดี๋ยวเราอ้วกเขาเลยชงตัวชงตัวเที่ยงเราเขียนตัวมุกได้จู่จีหรือจากเลยจะตัวเขียนตัวเป็นจนเนี่ยจดจีคนเราตัวกูจะเป็นมุกใช้ในวิดีโอเนาะคนเดียวจะเป็นมุกใช้ในวิดีโอเนาะกูว่าจอเราเลยจะออแกเนเซอร์ว่าจีจ้ารู้อีเวนต์เนาะแล้วกูเชื่อฟังตัวจงตัวในจะด็อกเตอร์จึงย้อนรู้ได้เชื่อเมกาเนาะที่ยังมันเราเลือดเชื่อ我了都还一路在进步着，被说的国家并不衰。Good afternoon or good evening. How great it is that uh, you are all here together as uh, former staff that worked for Zawa in in Ban Punai, and I'm sure this is uh, a, quite a special moment for you guys. And um, I don't know whether you know, but uh, I joined Zawa as the CEO in 2017. But I worked with Zawa before. It was actually from 1993 to 1997. And um, in that time, I, I worked in Nairobi, but I was in very close contact with our colleagues in, uh, uh, in Bangkok, with Dick and with, with Marnix. Um, and I did hear the stories about Ban Phanai. And obviously, that's a place where we uh, worked for a very long time and uh, impacted the lives of many, many people. And I just want to say, you know, a big thank you to all of you because you did play a significant part in the work that SOA did uh, in Bang Vanai and as such also were part of making an impact in people's lives. Now it seems that um, 2023 is a special year, the, you have your reunion, but it's also uh, ZOA's 50th birthday. And um, it's a bit strange because I, I say to people it's not something that we celebrate because ideally uh, Zoa would not be needed anymore. I think ideally there would be uh, no need for Zoa anymore. But of course, we all know that the opposite is, is true, and there's, there's never been as many refugees and displaced people in the world as we have today. But um, we are grateful to God that He has allowed us to continue the work, that He's been faithful to us, and that we have been continuing to be able to make a difference in people's lives. So from me and from the whole current ZOA team, a big thank you to all of you. And I do hope you're going to have a, a wonderful afternoon and evening together. Thank you very much. I'm Geert Vechter. I was the team coordinator of the ZOA healthcare program from 84 till 86. Uh, I was happy to be there. It was a wonderful experience, especially to meet you all and to learn about your culture, not only the culture of the Hmong, but also the other tribes and um, the Thai people who lived over there. Uh, a very nice event now. Very nice that you have organized this all to see each other through the internet. And um, I hope it will be a very good day to you all. When I came back to Holland, I started to work in the IT. I worked there for about 30 years in business and now for about 10 years I'm working as a teacher at the university in IT subjects. I wish you all the best and good luck. Bye bye. And this is me, Geert Vechter, at the Banvenei Hospital playing music. And here at a graduation ceremony for medics. We still have this crossbow from Banvinai. 
a t-shirt from the band Vinay Run, a weighing scale for opium, and a traditional knife. And a ZOA emblem used on uniforms of the healthcare workers. Hello everybody. My name is Herman Spijker. I worked in Punk Health Center 3. I had a very good time there, special when I worked with other SOA employees. It was nice to go on home visit with the midwives. I was very impressed about them because they were only 15 years old and they give a lot of information about pregnancy. I worked also with the medics, the puppet team, food for the hungry, and also I go on home visit when people leave the hospital and they have they need a checkup about the health or other things. It was a nice time. When I finished my work, I visit the market. I saw the many women making nice things with their hands, but also sometimes they have three or four pair of glasses. I was very impressed about that. They were working very hard. I also eat food on the market, especially sticky rice. In the Netherlands, I cook it very many times. Children like it because they can eat it with their hands and not they have not to use a fork or spoon. It was very nice. I've also many times I will think about you and when I see on Facebook you are doing very well. I'm happy I'm very happy about that and I wish you the best. Hopefully I can see you back on Facebook. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Dear Hmong friends, Nyo Zhong. I am Wim Vuring from Enschede in Holland. What a surprise when we recently heard about the Hmong reunion and the opportunity for us to bring our warm greetings to you by this video. We were with you in Banfinai from 1984 up to 1987. I worked in the hospital and the TB clinic and Grian, my wife, worked in the teaching programs for the medics. I had many good moments with you, medics and nurses. What a great job you did for your Hmong people. I remember the night calls in the hospital, sleeping in the lounge building, or in the weekends sometimes with my family in the bamboo hut behind the ward building. In the evening, I liked to go to the market, meet some people and buy some chicken, sticky rice and watermelon. I especially remember the beautiful moments in that night calls, the small talks I had with the medics and the nurses. But there were also sad moments. The many severe sick adults and especially the small children in the hospital. I still hear the crying of the families leaving the hospital with the body of their relative who just died in the hospital. I remember in the quiet nights, sometimes hearing the sound of the ceremony of a shaman. So I knew that someone nearby was very sick. Dear friends, when we left Balvinai, I had a hard time to say goodbye to you. I was going back to my home country, leaving you behind in the camp. As you see behind me, you were with me all the 30 years that I worked in this room. When we met each other in Banvinai in 1984, Grian and I, we were not at home, but you also were not in your home country. Now we are at home and I do hope so much you also feel at home in America. Grian and I, we with you all the best with your families and God bless you. Bye.
Nijong, this is Beverly Martin. It's May 22nd, 2023, and I'm recording uh, from my farm in Kansas, which is in the middle of the United States. These are some quick slides. You may or may not remember me as this, but maybe more as a public health nurse in Center One. I am the one on the right. Uh, these uh, We had a scabies clinic where Doug Hulcher caught me um, making a child happy. I would often walk to work um, on the main road in the bustle of the morning or down uh, through um, uh, on the way to the public health center and see scenes such as this you may or may not remember. Um, I would have lunch, uh, I have my sticky rice and chicken and uh, papaya or thom tom uh, and watch the bustle of the market. I always thought of the men in lines, uh, like in the firefighters out on the field, or females under umbrellas, because it was always so hot, I thought. Um, some Dutch nurses, uh, there's Savalor's family, who I worked with him, and there is his mom uh, in Panatnikom, where I work. It's Vang Shua, who did get to Minnesota, and I knew him there. These are other folks that I worked with, including some at the TB clinic. This was a big day. We went to the Mekong River for a picnic. That's Alan Wright, um, my boyfriend at the time. Uh, and uh, these are some of the folks that uh, were out there. It was uh, very memorable for many, I assume, because that was the Mekong River, and uh, that is a big part of the Hmong story. This is my front um, gate, and somehow it reminds me a little bit of those colors of the Mekong. So anyway, I... Uh, I miss that life and I will continue to honor and be humbled by um, many of the Hmong people that I grew to be friends with and worked with. So um, this is a shout out to you and let you know that I, uh, I haven't forgotten, I haven't forgotten that life. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Krista Conning from France, Brittany, on the western coast near the sea. As you can see, we have great weather here. This is my house. I worked in Banvinai 1985-86 with the ZOA medical program. Maybe some of you remember me. I did the medic training and worked in the ward with Alice. Since then, we came back to France after working in Laos for five years. My son Yan was born when I was working in Banvinai and my daughter just before we went to Laos. Sadly, my husband Francois passed away a few years ago. I'm retired now, but I have such warm memories of my time in Banvinai. So I'm so happy to make this, this video and say hello to you all. I'm going to stop now and then show you some photos that I kept from Banvinai. I hope you all have a long and happy life. And if you come to France, come and see me. Bye. Here are photos that I took when I was in Banvinai. Maybe some of you will recognize yourselves. They're not very good quality. In those days, the photos weren't great. So here are a few more people. That's all of us together. This, I don't know what we were doing. We were going around. And just the last few photos. Here's Alice. That's it. And yet, there is hope. Look at all the people who did survive who were able to make a living and were successful in connecting with others. In the mid-80s, the monks showed me their strength, their eagerness to learn and how to survive. They allowed me to enter their territory physically and mentally, and I tried to capture those impressions. The film I made, you can view during the reunion. The film is communicating your life and work 
in a healthcare setting during those years in Banvinay. It is my hope that your stories become more powerful when you are watching it yourselves, your parents. May God bless you all. It was a privilege to work with you in a short while. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Good afternoon, Yo Jong, my friends. How nice to be able to talk to you. And when I heard about your reunion, I felt very excited because this is a nice chance of meeting each other again after so many years. I was in Ban Vinay from 84 till 89. And since then, I think we have all changed quite a bit. So I wouldn't recognize your faces anymore. And I think you wouldn't recognize me anymore. And you just met me on the street. But I always remember all of your faces. When I looked up my photo books and I, I just, I felt like it was yesterday. It's also the picture I sent you with all your faces on it. And I remember all the good times, all the things we shared together. When I started in OPD and then after I worked in Center 678 and later on I was in charge of the under five program. And I just have good memories, although we also disagreed sometimes. We had our disappointments also. And I know sometimes I was too much of a blunt Dutch, not aware enough of your culture. And so after all, I can say maybe I learned more or at least as much from you as you did from me. But when I look back, I always feel very blessed and thankful for having a chance to work in Ban Vinay, to have met all of you and to share all these years together. And then I was asked in a two minutes video to share some, some memories I have. Now that isn't easy because five years of memories putting together in two minutes is quite difficult. But I picked up three and um, I must say the first one is, I remember the Bible class. We started on working days. Some of you joined and then we had nice discussions. I liked the time we had together. The second one is, I remember the lady who used to come on a daily basis to pick up her medication because she was suffering of epileptic insults. And then many times she would bring me some sticky rice and I always uh, I experienced that as a spe special gesture to me. And the third is, one of your names I remember, is the Sutcher man, Wa Meng Xiong. He one day wanted to teach me how to treat a wound, how to suture a wound. And then when I was working very hard on it, he said, else, when there is a war somewhere, many people are injured. Arms and legs are all around and then you are suturing up in the pace you do it now, then you will have a problem. So after that, I decided not to become a suture woman and I just did other things. So remembering all this, I just uh, want to say thank you and just express my, my joy to be able to, to meet each other in this way. And then I would say, when you ever have a chance to visit the Netherlands, then be welcome, be our guest, and we will have a longer talk. And for now, I will say all the best. God bless. Bye bye. สวัสดีครับพี่น้องชาวมงที่ตักทุกท่านก็เป็นเวลานานเหมือนกันที่เราไม่ได้พบกันแล้วเจอกันทุกคนคงไม่รู้จักผมมากเท่าไหร่เพ
แต่ก่อนนั้นผมทำงานของ ICA แต่ทุกคนคงรู้จักผมมากกว่าที่ทำงานที่นี้แต่ทิ้งอะไรก็ดีผมคิดถึงทุกคนผมก็ทำงานที่ในศูนย์นั้นนานเหมือนกันแล้วก็รู้จักหลายคนแล้วก็มีเพื่อนเยอะพี่น้องชาวมงแล้วก็และดีใจมากที่ได้พูดคุยกับพี่น้องผ่านทางนี้ทางรูปนี้แล้วก็ดีใจแล้วก็ที่ทุกคนยังรู้ลึกถึงคิดถึงผมทุกทุกคนแล้วผมก็คิดถึงทุกทุกคนเหมือนกันถึงแม้ว่าไม่มีแคมป์ที่บ้านมีนายอีกแต่เรายังคิดถึงกันคิดว่าคงจะพบกันเร็วๆนี้อีกนะสวัสดีครับ After a very very long time, we will meet again. And that is really happening. After 40 years, I was the RN in a TB clinic, working with Dr. Loas and many TB workers. We had a good time. Sometimes frustrating if we are going to the center and with the screening and we could not find a family, but we always had a lot of fun. Cleaning the TB clinic, playing with water, and sometimes we could go with our team to Kenkutku. It was really enjoying. Thank you for everything. And stay healthy. Bye bye. Hello. We are Johanna and Dick de Koning. We used to be in Ban Vinay in the, uh, as a project leader for the ZOA Hospital and Public Health Care. We were in uh, Thailand in the year 86 till 1991. For a period I have been working in the psychiatric care in Ban Vinay and as a present I got this beautiful embroidery book from several uh, Hmong women who made this for me. My memory is about the office of the hospital where Father Nia Muachu was reigning and I had meetings with him and the other leaders. Uh, I remember that there was a, often confusion because of the language barrier. Dear Banfinai friends, you probably don't recognize this after 40 years. Uh, this is Dr. Andre and Dr. Gwen. As a medical coordinator, I have felt very fortunate that I was able to hand out so many certificates to medics, to healthcare workers in IPD and OPD. And uh, together we can say we were always truly amazed by your huge intelligence and your ability to study under very difficult circumstances and your true motivation to help and support the people in Ban Vinay. And we have wondered many times, how has this helped you to build your career and to build your families in USA? Has this all contributed to a better life? And in a way, it's a very good sign that you now all come together after so many years and you want to meet again and you want to share the experiences and you want to share your common, the common life and the common experience you had in Ban Vinay. We hope to learn more from you. And for now, we wish you a very, very happy reunion. Have a great day. After I came home from Ban Vinay to the Netherlands, my life actually never was the same again. There were so many lessons learned in working in Ban Vinay, uh, starting with 
learning how people live together, the family life, being connected, and uh, a big admiration from my side to, for the for the difficult situations you were living in, and you were able to survive. On the other hand, I learned a lot of working with an in, with international team, together with different nationalities, different cultures. Um, and I'm really grateful for all these lessons learned for the rest of my life. And I remember many beautiful moments, but one moment especially I would love to tell you more about is like that together with Van Lia, I was visiting one of the psychotic patients who could not stay home. Um, and he was living not in a community but outside and we had to visit him and it was sometimes we could communicate with him and sometimes we did not and when we visited him he was roasting a rat on the fire but next to him there was a very big big knife it was huge um, and what i realized later is that we really never thought about safety and anyhow we survived and finally this patient could be reunited with his family again so this is one of the moments i really i remember and there are so many more i'm really full of admiration how you caught up living in the united states and anywhere over the world so thank you very much for all the lessons i learned from you i'm thinking of you very regularly the Hmong people i even have that pandao still in my house hanging so daily i i will meet you uh, through the panda thank you very much bye bye <laughs> Kanyo Hello everybody, long time that we, yeah, that I've been in Bandrinai but still have good memories, many memories of people in the camp, like the ladies making the quilts, um, I do remember the hospital, uh, it was nice to be there, it was uh, a pleasure to be there, also uh, with the team working together with the Hmong workers and the Zoa workers, uh, it was an enjoyable time. Um, I I've done some teaching, I've done, I was uh, working with the midwives and also the family planning team and, 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 and well, I just have good memories and I hope that all of you in, uh, who left the Bon Vinay and started to live in the United States that you really, really found a good place. Blessings to all and in case you do not remember my name anymore, I, my name is Ria. Hi. I'm Marianne and I was in Banfinai from 1985 till 1986 and I had a wonderful time over there. I was really very young, only 22 years old, but I had a good time and I was working in the delivery room and in the children department. And the first thing I really, I remember it was uh, a big surprise because I had to do a night call my first night call and they told me there was a woman who had to deliver a dead baby but she didn't do that no she delivered a twins and they were both alive so big surprise many happiness over there 
Another thing is uh, really sad is that I remember there was a little child, six, seven years old, and the parents asked me to bring her home because she had to die. And I went with them and I stayed there for one, two hours. So it was really, really, it really, really impressed me. Uh, the family, the children around her in the dark hut. And I realized you had a really hard time over there. <clears throat> so um, another thing I remember was funny. I was invited to come with Anna and Alice, who passed by already, to their little hut and stay there for one night. So we went to the market, bought chicken, and uh, they do many things with the chicken to give us a safe night. And uh, it was a good night. I didn't sleep, of course, very much. And I heard many things around me. But I realized it was a hard life for you to be there in the camp. Not for one night, but many years. So that was uh, my memories. And I still have a lot of other memories in um, my house. I can see them many times like this. And... Uh, I brought it with me and uh, this one I also show many times to people um, to tell them about Camp Banvinai. Well, that was my story. I hope you will have a very good time with the reunion and you will have a very good future uh, for you, your children and the children after. So, bye bye. Marianne. My name is Irena and I worked in the Health Education Office in Banfinai from 1988 till 1990. I worked with a great team of about 15 to 20 health education workers, with Fang Chao as the wonderful leader and Cha Tao as assistant leader. Part of the work we did in the Health Education Office was coordinating all the different medical courses such as basic health, anatomy and physiology, nursing theory, medic, dental. I always loved the graduation parties, which were a highlight after a group finished one of the courses. And naturally, speeches needed to be given at the party. The other part of our work was community health education. For instance, we made posters and went to the primary schools to teach the children about all different kinds of health topics. I remember that at times it was a difficult job because sometimes you encountered resistance. I remember the vaccination campaign when we had to vaccinate everyone in the camp because of a measles outbreak. We encountered resistance and even some anger. It was something I learned during my time in Banvinai, that we can't just teach what we Westerners think is true and important. We also have to listen to what you think is important and to learn to understand your point of view. I want to thank you for all you've done as healthcare workers and for all the things you taught me during my time in Banvinai. Thank you. Ta 
Hello everybody, this is uh, Nani van Iperen. Uh, greetings from the Netherlands and I'm happy to join in this uh, reunion. Uh, I have been working in Banvinai from 1990 until 1993 and I worked there as a nurse supervising the, the wards, the pediatric ward, uh, the adult ward and the TB clinic. Uh, at the moment, I am working um, as a midwife. Uh, after leaving Thailand, um, I worked for different uh, NGOs. I did my midwifery training and I have my own private clinic now in Leerdam. And over the years, I have been uh, working in Africa and in uh, Asia, in different countries, working in development work and sharing my knowledge and my skills. I have very good memories of Ban Vinay. It was, was my first experience abroad with SOA. And if you ask me to share one of the memories is that one is the, um, when we cleaned the ward, everybody went outside, we put all the beds outside and we cleaned the ward with the, uh, the hose from the fire department. And that always stick to my mind. Another one that sticks to my mind is when uh, you, the people, were leaving for America and that it always broke my heart to see um, the people leaving, leaving sons, daughters, mothers or fathers behind. And uh, if I still see those pictures, it can uh, uh, make me emotional again. I hope all of you are doing well, wishing you all the best here from the Netherlands. As you can see, I have still memories of the camp, nice embroidery and also the flute. And um, you are always in my mind. May God bless you. Dear Bon friends, I am Egbert. I worked in the mental health program of Bon Vinay from February 1989 till June 1991. I was there for ZOA with the whole medical program and beside the work I did a lot of funny things with the workers like walking to the Banfinai mountain and we also went swimming at Le swimming pool. I remember one situation but I, of course I remember many situations, but one situation I will tell you about a man, he was changed, he couldn't walk, and he was changed because he was very upset, he was spitting to people, hitting people, screaming a lot, and when I came he was very silent, and he seemed to be afraid. I gave him some medicine by injection, and one week later he could be act normal again. I still have some items from Ban Vinay. In the background you can see the embroidery made by one of your probably women. And still I have some other things here that is used by my family. I'm still working in the mental health as a nurse and a family therapist. I hope to hear soon from you. Bye.
ตอนนี้ก็ตัวเนี่ยจะเกิดเนี่ยจะว่าจนตอนตอนเนี่ยตอนใช้มงทุนสิเนี่ยนู้นเขาสอสื่อหลอสอวินอะไรตัวเกิ